Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing really well today. This is going to be part 19 of the Mini Art US Armored uh, Tractor 135th scale. Uh, I'll show you a little more of what I did with this, kind of how it's supposed to work, and then I'm going to take a couple of steps back and I'm going to work on that winch on the back of the tractor again. Um, didn't get any painting done yesterday. It did warm up a bit, but the wind was blowing something fierce. So we're supposed to be seeing some not quite as warm weather today. My filters are coming tomorrow afternoon, evening sometime. Uh, I want to do some rearranging in here a little bit. Um, I'm going to get a, I have another set of shelves in the basement I'm going to put I'm thinking of putting probably over there and uh, then I can get some stuff off the bench and I've got some boxes under the benches that I'm wanting to get you know kind of cleaned up and move neaten things up a bit and then I'm thinking about moving the spray booth just a little bit so once I finish with this video I'll probably be tearing some things apart so hopefully I'll get it all back together in time for tomorrow's video I'll do something tomorrow uh, depending on whether we're building or whatever, but uh, hopefully the filters will be here tomorrow, but they won't be here until later in the evening, well after I record my video for today, or for that day. Anyway, let's go back, uh, go down the bench, and I'll show you kind of where I'm at, and uh, a couple of things I want to change, okay? I'll be right back. Thanks, guys. Okay, here's our blade. Now this is still all loose here, but this is kind of how it works. Uh, there's one, two, three connecting points for this brace on each side. So you can put them in this position and you can have the blade angle to one side or you can move it up to this position and have them straight. I don't have the pins and stuff in there obviously. But that gives you an idea idea of how it's supposed to go and then you can put it in this position and push straight or you can go the opposite and you can push to the other side okay this all came out really well I'm real happy with that I don't think it's gonna fall apart on me and uh, I think it's nice and strong so this I'm gonna set aside till I can get some paint on it. I do have a couple little bitty pieces of photo etch I haven't put on there yet, which I'll get to soon. I'm going to set this back out of the way for now. Okay, um, let me show you here. Um, let's go back to the instructions real quick. Okay, previously we put step 62 together, okay? Um, it didn't go together too bad, but there again, you've got these little pins that go in the recesses, top and bottom. When I went to get it out today, it hadn't been bumped or anything. I got it out of the container and the parts had separated. You know, these little pins are just extremely tiny. And what you're supposed to do is put this together, which is this, and then you're supposed to do it again on top uh, with another set, and then put a cap on that. Mm -hmm. And I'm afraid it's just going to all fall apart because these are supposed to be uh, these are supposed to be loose to where they can turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill through here and here through this little part here and here and then all the way through. I actually took this stuff apart again because it was just falling apart. So I'm going to put put a wire through everything and then put it all back together and hopefully that will keep it from falling apart on me. Okay, so that's that's the plan for right now. This is what it's supposed to look like over here when it's all together and there's a couple of braces and things to go on it. But, I'm really afraid that it's going to just fall apart. Okay, let's go back over here to the bench. 
let's see if we can't get a little closer here okay here's the base and then this is the second level up and then we've got these with the angles fact is I on the other side where the pin comes through I put a little super glue on there and then sanded that smooth because that was kind of coming apart and then these square ones are the top level level and then this goes all the way to the top so what I want to do is I want to drill through here through here and then through through these little buttons here this one's actually got a recess already and then I want to stack all these together and have that wire hold it all together if I mess it up I'll just have to scratch build something to replace it but I think that's going to work a lot better than uh, the way mini art has it set up so I don't need to put a hole through that those are already all the way through but I need to put a hole through the base so let me get my uh, little vice over here just to set it on just a nice firm firm surface to set it on and we'll see what we can do about drilling these through try and center that best I can in both sides mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty good. This is like a 0.55 wire, or a 0.55 bit, and the wire is 0.5 millimeters. So it's ever so slightly larger than the wire. Keep these. Okay, that's through. to clean the the uh, plastic up a little bit around the hole get it over a hole okay and that's through bent that piece just a little bit right there stuff's really fragile let's go through this way to clear it up a little bit get it back in the same hole here we go watching well I've, I've watched two videos this morning I watched Nigel working on his Sharn horse hole he's really doing an excellent job on that he's got it making a quite a bunch of changes then I watched Jason's review of the new Zuki Mora kit the F109 it's all very very interesting to me Okay, 
So, I don't know if you guys know it or not, but you can take a piece of wire, if I can pick it up, you can grab it between a couple of pair of pliers or something and pull as hard as you can and it'll, you'll end up with a nice straight piece of wire. They, they make some really nice tools for, you know, with rollers and things for that, but I don't currently have one, so we'll work with this. If it's really hard wire, it's kind of hard to do that, but this stuff's pretty soft, but it gives you a nice straight piece of wire. It's something about half. Yeah, it's pretty close. Pretty close. Okay. So there's my wires to go through, and they'll be too long. So we don't need to drill through that. We need to drill through this. So let's make a center punch. center as I can. Okay, whoops. I think this will give me a lot more uh, secure fit, secure uh, joint. Okay, and then we've got to go through these. Two of these, or I think all of these, one side's already got a depression in it. I'm not sure just why, but it makes it real easy to center. Just my biggest concern is I'm going to snap the CA joint. I'll take it easy. If I have to, I'll re-glue it. Pretty thick. There we go. Oh, and I did snap the joint. Okay. I'll have to glue that back in. I was afraid I might. But I did get the hole through it. Let's see if we can't do something with this. If I'd have thought ahead and planned this, I probably would have drilled these while they were still on the sprue. Oh. Okay, hang on just a minute. Be right back. Okay, here's one side with all everything drilled. Um, you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. I've got the wire that goes through the bottom one, through that center base, through the top one, and then through the top plate. Okay, I only, I broke two of the CA joints doing that. So I guess I'll continue 
I'll try and do it on camera. It's really fiddly. You gotta be real gentle or you just snap the CA joints. I think this will be a lot better than the the way they have it set up. I'm, I'm not even really pushing at all. I'm just kind of guiding and let the, letting the bit pull. Going really, really slow. I'm going through a really tiny piece of plastic. through. It's got to be real gentle. Okay. Sorry, dead air. I'm concentrating. Oh, and see it snapped. All right, oh, it did go through, but it snapped. So, That CA, the CA joints are just so tiny. But it did go where I wanted it to. Hey. Okay, that one I need to fix. Let's try this last one here. This is a really handy tool. It's got a magnet on this end, but it's got a real sharp carboid, carboid point on the other side. Just barely, barely pressing. kind of wandered or the bit kind of wandered a little bit Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to clear it out just a little bit. Anyway, let me, uh, I'm going to shut the camera off and I'm going to fix these two. 
it'll take a few minutes and I'll put things together and then I'll come back and show you what what I'm thinking about okay I'll be back in a little bit thanks okay guys um, here's where we're at this is the one I was working on before that the little uh, button popped off of uh, I glued it back on and I was trying to clear the hole a little bit and it popped off again and it's gone um, I cut a piece of white plastic card and I was going to put it in here and glue it in and then try and drill through that but when I tried to drill through it um, snapped the drill bit like these do sometimes so I had it just almost all the way through and anyway <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to give this some thought, guys. If I had, I'll have to look and see what I've got in the way of material, but uh, something I would consider doing would be to take this all apart, take the little pulley out of the center, put this in some acetone and clean all the CA off of it, and then see if I can come up with some little pieces of brass and solder a couple of little pins in which I think is doable uh, and I might do it on all of them but I'm going to have to give it some thought and see what kind of material and stuff I've got just uh, you know I would like to do it like this but then I, I lost some parts so that's going to be a little different arrangement but you can kind of see where I'm heading with this uh, Not, not too bad of an idea, but still, uh, I think I can do it a little bit better. So let me, let me uh, think about it a little bit, and I'll uh, see what I've got in the way of brass and things. I've got to take this apart and clean it up good, because it's really got a bunch of CA in it now. But uh, We'll talk to you guys tomorrow, okay? Didn't get a lot accomplished today, but uh, we'll get it. Well, I'm not giving up on it by any means. I think we can improve on it, but I guess the little piece of plastic just wasn't the right way to do it. So talk to you later, guys. I'll have a great day, okay? Bye-bye.